Is this a time to buy the dip, or do you believe that tech especially is going to retest lows? Um, yeah, so actually, I see this is two different questions, which I'll answer. Um, tech specifically, um, we always own tech as part of our firm, right? But it's definitely not something that I'm over allocating to right now. And I think what you have to take a look at is regardless of us going into recession or what's happening with the Fed next week, um, we are going to be going into a slowing growth environment and rates are going to be higher than they have been over the last decade. And tech is just not well positioned to continue to outperform in that kind of environment. And when you take a look at something like the ARK Innovation Fund, which has really been the poster child for your innovative tech, um, you look at the top 20 holdings, only three of those actually have a positive P.E. ratio. And even then, they are so much more expensive than the market. And I think that's the problem with your tech firms is those kind of valuations are not going to do well in this kind of environment. So are we buying the dip? I see as a separate question. Yes, it's just not necessarily in tech, right? Because I think there's plenty of opportunities that you can look at, whether it's in energy or healthcare or things that'll do well in this environment. But we continue to believe likely the lows are already in for the year. Could we go lower from here? Sure, we can. But I think your your risk to the upside is still pretty great because um, a lot of your money managers are still pretty underinvested right now. And if we do start to see any positive data come out, there's still a lot of upside, I would say, more so than downside at this point in time. So when we talk about tech, a lot of times we talk about it as this broad area, but obviously there's different areas of tech. Let's just focus on mega cap tech right now. Is this an environment, inflationary, um, where mega cap tech can actually outperform other areas of tech? A lot of times these are what we call those blue chip stocks that are almost utilities in many cases. Yeah, right. It's going to depend on the specific company. So take like an Apple, for example, which does have like more hardware. They have a lot of cash on the balance sheet. I think they'll probably hold up better than some of your companies. Like take, for example, a Tesla, which can obviously get lumped in there, that's something that is extremely expensive right now and may not may not fare as well. So I think you want to look at your companies that have pricing power and good cash on their balance sheets. So if you are looking in tech, look for those ones specifically that have those. Two areas I was actually looking at myself are payment stocks. MasterCard and Visa in the green today, um, kind of resisting some of that rate pressure. But with inflation, do you expect those kind of companies to get hit when we talk about both payment and fintech? Yeah, and again, it's it's really going to come down to the valuation on a lot of these. Um, but ultimately, um, you can find opportunities in tech. But I don't think just as a broad sector, it's it's not where you want to jump in with two feet from now, right now. So you can pick and choose which companies might do well. But as a broad sector, I think there's other areas that are going to continue to outperform rather than your tech or your fintech companies.